Welcome back guys to the channel. This is a very outstanding day because I didn't think I was going to be able to catch any more 69s and XCHs, right? But apparently I was lucky enough to get it at 66.99. Holy sh... Check this out guys. I mean, I'm a one away. I actually took a screenshot of it when it went to 66.99. I know we're, we're talking about the prices going down on Chia, but you know, there's a lot of positive things going on on the Twitter space and Discord. You know, there's still people hyping it up. I may not agree to all extent of everything that's out there on the Twitter universe. A lot of guys are just very positive on that, which I don't have a problem with. It's just that I feel like sometimes they're just doing it for the sake of doing it because they're losing hope or they're hoping that the price goes back up now this is interesting why i mentioned that is because they keep pumping on twitter like oh you know we got to get the community going and we have to talk more about it grow the population of people who are farming it at the same time there's some people who say price is irrelevant the project is and the, and the team is strong which it doesn't coincide with me it doesn't make any sense like i said before in my old videos is that price predicts how much people come into the community that's going to apply for a lot of crypto not just chia in general there's a lot of back and forth with that you know a lot of people say oh there's a great project there's, there's nothing greener there's nothing else that's better in the world of crypto right now on the proof of work area like between ethereum and mining other crypto that proof of work is that chia has been proven to be more energy efficient that given that you know to me it's just like i feel like there's a lot of hypocrite in this space constantly shilling the coin which i have no problem doing i talk about it myself because i'm directly involved with it i have plots i have hard drives i bought equipment i joined the twitter i believe it was a happy hour twitter and they were just talking some of it was on repeat and some of it was based on the fact that there's new and upcoming things going into the world of chia which is like the data layer and the 1.3 upgrade it's all cool and all that but but right now it's just i like to look at the price no one's gonna say to me you can't just keep on looking at the price no i can look at the price because that the price predicts how i feel about it and where i should put my money into because if the price was steadily increasing i would guarantee you i would be buying more hardware and plotting more if there is a financial gain to that there's no way i can take my hard-earned money and put it into something that i know would not have a return and like i've said before if i've done that with real estate i'll be a very very bad investor not a poor investor a bad investor now there's a difference between poor and bad bad is making bad choices poor is just i mean i'm cash poor i have a lot of my money into investments so that's what i mean by that but of course if the price was to go up higher it's an incentive if you can predict the percentages that it's been for the last year that it's going up maybe there is hope to putting more equipment and more drives or, or you know plotting and farming well the, pl the farming thing is already doing whatever it needs to do but as the price keeps on coming down like i said we don't know how long we're going to be sitting in this 60 dollar range you know from my previous video because i made a joke out of it you know the 69 we're in the 66 range right now so it's only a matter of time before possibly it goes even lower at that point do we still keep on pumping money into this do we just buy the coin straight out a lot of you guys are very hopeful because you're already carrying xchs but what about the people who are still new to it there's still a lot of negativity i feel like there's towards other projects and it always gets mentioned right i never see you know bigger projects saying you shouldn't get into this or get into that or they're not efficient or the technology is not there or there's no good team behind it i've seen lately that the chia community likes to go after other projects for whatever reason and it's not just the you know just the mom and pop farmers like you and myself even the chia network team themselves are going after other projects and constantly i don't know if it's a marketing scheme or is that just a, a way to kind of promote themselves i just want to show this really quick it's 66.96 right now so it is a tough decision to make right now especially if you're getting into chia as a new alternative to a proof of work crypto project i don't know maybe in the future we'll be able to utilize some gpus for plotting or there is talks of ram disk the option to not necessarily have 128 gigs of ram in order to plot with the ram disk you can actually utilize some of the ram that you have existing 
existing and then flat with the remaining with your storage or your processing in between that. That's a pretty good option. I recently, the Twitter that they've been talking about is a lot of how to plot and, and plotting efficiency and all that other great stuff. But at the same time, how many more people are actually still plotting? I would like to hear what you guys are doing in regards to plotting. Are you guys still buying hard drives? Are you guys still plotting? Maybe it helped me, reinsures me because I don't see those talks being mentioned as openly as it was maybe a year ago or you know since we're reaching the one year anniversary of the Chia mainnet launch so remember to let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing comment below if you haven't been a subscriber yet subscribe now because I'm still going to be bringing out content like this and so we can have open discussions and if you haven't done so already remember to hit that like button as well all right and I'll see you guys again soon bye